A wave of international anger is building after two deadly attacks in the humanitarian zone. Demonstrations have broken out around the globe in response, including right here in San Diego, where earlier this evening hundreds gathered to call for a ceasefire. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe joins us in studio tonight with what else protesters are calling for. Rocio? Yeah, good evening. A large crowd gathered today at Waterfront Park to demand an end to the bloodshed. This comes after a series of strikes in Rafa, which is supposed to be one of the last few sites where Palestinians can seek refuge. If we The photos and the atrocities that we are witnessing are absolutely disgusting. Hundreds of protesters stood outside Waterfront Park in Unity to condemn deadly strikes that hit encampments for Palestinian refugees in southern Gaza. We're here as a community. We're standing against this. We're calling on the administration to continue, you know, to listen to us and listen to their constituents and stop funding this, stop arming the Israeli government. The Gaza Health Ministry today said dozens of civilians, many of them children, were killed, and many others were injured inside what are supposed to be safe zones after an Israeli airstrike. In the past 48 hours, there has been a lot of um, bombing on Rafah. Rafah is the safe zone that has been designated for Palestinians in Gaza to basically evacuate to. On Sunday, Israel launched a similar attack on a camp that killed at least 45 civilians and triggered a massive fire. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the attack was a tragic mistake and that an investigation into the strike is underway. It's also disgusting for the Israeli Zionist regime to be saying it's a mistake. There are no mistakes. You know, time and time again, it's been eight months. How many mistakes are you making before this is international crimes. Sabrine Demonori is an organizer with the Palestinian Youth Movement and says it's infuriating that innocent people continue to suffer. They are going to areas that are supposed to be designated as safe areas, as safe zones, refugee camps. These are people who have been living in tents for six to eight months, children, women, innocent people, and they're being bombed in the middle of the night. Where, where is the justice in that? Where is the humanity in that? Now, organizers say they will continue to gather and speak out against what's happening in Gaza until there's a ceasefire.